SPOTLIGHT IS ON A BUSY ROAD IN THE SOUTHWEST VALLEY TONIGHT AFTER A FATAL CRASH HAPPENED EARLIER THIS WEEK, a WEDNESDAY AT FURNACE GULCH IN FORT APACHE, SOUTH OF BLUE DIAMOND. Now, THE SUSPECT WAS IDENTIFIED AS RISING HIGH SCHOOL BASKETBALL STAR ZION COLLINS, WHO APPEARED IN COURT YESTERDAY ON A HANDFUL OF CHARGES. POLICE ON SCENE SAY HE WAS TRAVELING AT EXCESSIVE SPEEDS AND POSSIBLY UNDER THE INFLUENCE. JOE MOLLER SPOKE TO PEOPLE IN THAT AREA WHO SAY THAT SECTION OF FORT APACHE NEEDS TO BE ADDRESSED. HE LIVES uh, RIGHT WHERE THE CRASH HAPPENED. WITH MORE NOW, JOE. Yeah, Brian, well, this memorial is growing today and tonight. We just saw uh, some more. It looks like family members come here and drop off some flowers right where this crash happened here at Furnace Gulch and Fort Apache. You can see that there's a fence up where this crash happened. And just to the left of your screen is Fort Apache. We talked to neighbors who expressed concern, concerns about the uh, speed that people travel down this road. Something like this, it kind of shakes you up. It's devastating. It's devastating. Something like this could have been. It, it never should have happened. A temporary fence is up and a memorial is growing where 52 year old Eric Echeverria was killed in a crash Wednesday just down the road from his home. It's a pretty graphic reminder of what's happened and what could have been prevented. Police say the suspect, 19 year old Zion Collins, was allegedly driving around 88 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. Police also say there was a green leafy substance found in the car. Neighbors here say the speeding on Fort Apache is a problem. As soon as they opened this road up, they took the stop signs out, and it's just a free for all. Eric Lemunyan says when a stop sign at Gomer in Fort Apache was taken out, the speeding picked up. This has been very difficult lately since they opened the street. Carlos Campos lives in the home where it happened and called 911. A lot of motorcycles drive through here at a very high speed, and also cars. They don't respect the, uh, the speed limits. As a family grieves the loss of a loved one, neighbors here say more can be done. Law enforcement presence and a, at least a signal there, a signal or, you know, put back the stop signs. Now back out here live, the family who also lives in this neighborhood is planning a vigil here at this intersection this Sunday at 6 p.m. Reporting live in the Southwest Valley, Joe Moeller, 8 News Now.